In this demo, I'll show you how Flowlink can help move orders from your Shopify store to your installation of QuickBooks, Premier, or Enterprise. Since these versions of QuickBooks are not cloud-based, we can't just send them data directly like we could with, say, the online version of QuickBooks. So I'd like to start by explaining how this process will work and then showing it to you in action. The first step starts with Shopify. Flowlink asks your Shopify store for all orders since the last time it checked. Those orders are then prepared for QuickBooks and stored in a secure place that lets your and only your QuickBooks installation retrieve them. On your computer where you're running QuickBooks, a clever application by Intuit called the QuickBooks Web Connector periodically goes out and retrieves requests from the secure storage location we just created, where it will find the orders we put there for it, bring them in, and store them in QuickBooks. Now let's look at this in practice. Here we are in Flowlink on the My Connection screen. And all we're going to do here is add a couple of flows that tell Flowlink what we'd like to do. We call these workflows. So here we go for Shopify. Now this reads pretty much like English. We're going to use the Shopify connection to get orders from Shopify. Uh, we'd like you to do that every 30 minutes. And we're just going to give this workflow a name, get orders from Shopify. I'm not going to save this because I already have this workflow saved, uh, but I'll just show you how to create the next workflow. So back to the connection screen. This time, I'm going to look at the QuickBooks desktop connection, not the online connection that I have there. I'm going to add a workflow. And the same thing, I'm going to use this, this plain English representation. I'm going to say use the QuickBooks desktop connection to add orders to QuickBooks desktop whenever orders are created or updated. And once again, I'm just going to give it a name that represents what it does. Once this is done, I can go to the workflow screen and I'll see all the workflows that I've created. Now for a regular store, there might be quite a few. In this case, we have the two that we just created and two others that were created before this demo. Uh, but basically those two that you see activated are the two that we're going to use. So let's try this out. Um, right now I'm inside my Shopify store, a demo store. And I'm just using the back office to create an order. So I'm just going to pick some of these sample products that we have and add them to an order. And once that's done, I'll save the order. Um, I'll add a couple more to the order just so we see a few products go through. And then I'll pick one of the sample clients that we have. Once I'm all done, I'm going to mark this order as paid. And then once the order is paid, we'll just take a look at the order to note the order number, 1079. And the total amount of the order, 51, 360, 81. We'll see those numbers again in QuickBooks once we get this shipped over. So let's go back to, to Flowlink now. And remember, we told the flow to get orders every 30 minutes, but I'm going to tell it to run the flow now so we don't have to wait 30 minutes. So I've run the flow. Uh, and then once we uh, have told Flowlink to do that, we should be able to go to the transaction screen and see that orders have been retrieved and that they've been sent. So there we go. Uh, we look down a little bit further on the screen and we see that one order was retrieved from Shopify. If I drill in a little bit, I see that it was order 1079, that order that we just looked at. And then if we go to the next transaction, we see that that order was immediately sent to QuickBooks desktop, uh, scheduled for the transaction that we looked at at the beginning of this video. So, so far so good. Uh, next step is we'll look at QuickBooks desktop. So in QuickBooks Desktop over here, you see the thing that I told you about earlier, the QuickBooks Web Connector. And this is the tool that Intuit's provided to go out and get data. And I just have to click on the Update button, and that data is retrieved, and it's pulled back down in the QuickBooks. Uh, normally, this will run automatically. But again, I'm just running it a couple of times here so that we can see it in action with the demo. Um, each of these runs goes and gets different pieces of the data that get sent over with the order, including customers and payments. So once that's done, we'll take a look at the sales orders that have come in, and we can do that looking at the order report. Uh, and we see 1079 is indeed inside that report. So let's double click on it. And here we go. Uh, we see the order, uh, and we see two engines and one cup. The order number is right and the total order amount is what we expect that it should be and that we see a payment that has come in along with that order. 
So uh, it's kind of a tricky process in terms of uh, setting up the web connector and uh, all the pieces that go with that, but that's part of what Flowlink's onboarding team will help you do. And once that's set up, it's basically a set it and forget it kind of situation. And uh, Flowlink will do the work of getting orders for you while you do something more fun or more productive. Thank you, and I hope that was helpful.